is it. This is it. Oh, I'm man. taking a train to New York, so. Oh, good, good. Yeah, it's so exciting. How many, how many total do you know? In total, I've done seven, so, yeah. So not too bad, but okay. I've done a little bit of traveling. Too, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. How would, you didn't work out here today, is that right. correct? Yeah. Do you have any sort of individual workout? Uh, I, no, no. So um, I, I've strained my my hamstring. Nothing serious, but uh, I just we decided not to not to take part in it. But uh, I've done a few in, uh, individuals and, and group workouts, so it's been good. And then just coming here and just being able to be around them and talking, I think is important as well. So just for them to see me as a person is, is important. So you feel like they've gotten to know you a little bit and vice versa. Definitely, definitely, exactly. Did you did you see or visit anybody? Below where the Wizards are 10 right now. Yeah. Did you go anywhere below 10? I visited uh, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. That, that's the lowest one I've been to. Okay. Yeah. Did, did people, um, did the questions change after Chicago? Questions? Yeah. Uh, you know, what they wanted A to little know. bit. Yeah. I think they've all been pretty similar, but there's been a few different ones, but nothing crazy. Yeah. yeah. Being around, I think just like the culture, like just how they, you know, do things, you know, practice as well. Every workout's been different, and just like the interviews, how they want to talk to me. I think it's all been different in different places. So I think it's been good to see that and just have a feel for them. What they want to know? What they want to know? Yeah. If I work hard, if I if I want to play defense, and I think uh, all those things, <laughs> and if I'm a good person, yeah. <laughs> What do you think about this, just this whole process of, you know, touring around and uh, they're feeling you out, you're feeling them out, you know, uh, what, what's that whole process like? Yeah, I think it's been fun. I think it's exciting to, you know, explore America kind of and all these new different cities. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, organizations, like this is the first time we've been in an arena. I've, I've been in an arena, so uh, it's been pretty cool. And then just being around, you know, the staff, other players, I think it's been cool to see that and just realize that there's only 450 spots in, in the in the league, so it's like really exclusive and, you know, a lot of people are trying to get there. So it's like, you, you got to keep working hard and working on your game. So I think it's just kind of motivating as well. What do you think of the Wizards having so many international players? Right, I think it's exciting. I think uh, they really want good people, and I feel like I could fit really well here. And they need defense, and I think I can provide that for them. So, hey, Jeremy, talk to me about your time at Baylor and how you feel like it prepared you for this next. Yeah, level. no, it prepared me a lot. I feel like you know, from day one we've worked really hard. I was always in the gym, uh, defense, offense. We did everything. I think it's really helped me with this process, and then also I think with the next level. So. It was for, really good. And for guys in your shoes, have you had anybody from Baylor or anybody in the league that's give you advice to help you out doing this process? Yeah, uh, Davion Mitchell, Jared Butler, uh, um, they've all really, like, really helped me with, like, even, like, the agency process, picking the right agent and what to look out for. And I think they've really helped me, and they've, they're great people, so. And then my last one for you is just what are some of the intangibles you bring to a ball club? Yeah, I think just, you know, great energy, a presence. I think... Uh, versatility as well on the court off the court i think those things are going to really show uh, at the next level so for well, people who are familiar with your game people out east here uh, what, <laughs> what do you do on the court right well? i think versatility i think defensively i can play on the ball off the ball um, switch i see a lot as well i feel like i have a really good iq and then offensively i feel like i can play make for myself but also for others and i just fit my role I'm not, I'm not a cancer to the team, to my teammates, to my coaches. I think I just fit with my role and do, you know, what's best. What makes you most excited on the floor? Some guys like to score, push your game is a little more well-rounded. You play, you right. do everything. But what makes you the most excited? Is it getting a stop? Yeah. Is it, you know, playing a little point forward, right. towards the out bag? What, yeah. what makes you the most happy? Zone? Most happy? I think just, you know, I feel like there's so many ups and downs. I think it's just, you know, staying connected and true to yourself. And then, you know, like like you said, like me defensively, I love stops, being cheeky, and then also like off offensively being well-rounded and uh, being able to involve others and myself in, in, in the game, so. And just a few days ahead of the draft, where is your mind now that it's about to be a reality here? So right. Of course, it's been like workout mode and improving your game. Yeah. Now that you're on draft week, how do you feel mentally? Yeah, I think it's so much excitement. Of course, there's nerves, but I think that positive, positive nerve, like nerves, I think it's like kind of surreal, 
but it's exciting because like you know draft night you can't control what's going to happen and it's just being you know present and just being able to uh, stay positive Jeremy, I know what being cheeky is. What is it to be cheeky on? Right. I think it's just uh, <laughs> just being able to, like, you know, think ahead of the play, being able to see stuff and just being, you know, a little, yeah, like like you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no really, like, explanation for it. So. <laughs> you looked at the, I'm sure you watched the finals. You, yeah. And I know Draymond's one of your guys. Did yeah. you watch him and how he blows stuff up? And no, just... definitely. I think, like, the last two games, really. I was going to tweet out. But you, the last two games, you can really tell why why they won and how how much Draymond helped them. So I think like just his role and seeing that really like you know excites me and uh, possibility to, to to do something like that for a team is is exciting for me. This is a cliche question, but who do you model your game after? Speaking of Draymond, like I feel like teams look at you and say he could play a Draymond esque role, but yeah. even at a bigger size, who do you like watch to? they be clean from some of their stuff. Right. I think it's just being realistic and then looking at players that I can, you know, start with is I think like Aaron Gordon, Mikel Bridges, um, you said like a Boris Diaw younger version. Um players like who are hybrids, who are like six seven, six eight, six nine, can play defense, offense, but then also players that do things that don't come up on the book score, a stat sheet. I think just the little things that really help winning, I think those are the type of players I really look at. Had you met with the Wizards before at the Combine or anything With, with the Wizards? Yeah. No, so this is the first time. Unfortunately, I didn't have them on my interview sheet, but this is the first time, so it's, it's good to be here. I guess, was there any just complete oddball question that they might have thrown at you? Not there? really, no. I was pretty lucky, so <laughs> nothing too bad. <laughs> do, do they take you out to dinner the night before and yeah. sit down? How do they get to know you? How do they go yeah, I there? think it's just, you know, really informal just having dinner just small talk and just nothing like crazy serious like stiff and it's just really you know finding out my personality what i like to do uh, what i like on the court and just you know just finding out who i am is this your first time in washington dc it is i actually found out yesterday that it's not a state which is pretty great <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah so i found out certain you You'll discover it's a point of contention here. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, did you have a chance, uh, being as worldly as you are, did you have a chance to look around or see any of the stuff maybe you've seen in books uh, and on TV? Not crazy. I saw the Capitol, which was pretty cool. And I found out that, like, the buildings aren't, like, they can't surpass the, the, the capital which is pretty cool <laughs> i haven't seen the white house yet so maybe if i get drafted i'll go <laughs> at, at what point in your your lifetime did the nba become a dream for you or or an aspiration for you i think it's always been the dream i've always thought i could be at the nba level i think maybe like two three years ago i really realized that i have a you know a great opportunity uh, opportunity and potential to do it so I think that's when I really found out that I could do it with hard work. Have you uh, shared any notes with Kendall about his process? And what yeah, doing? we've been on FaceTime, yeah. Snap, everything. We we talk a lot about it, and uh, he's been he's been, he's had a quite a few workouts, and I think he's really excited. And he's he's been doing well, so yeah. I can't wait to see him at New York. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You got your suit ready? I do. <laughs> I don't know if I can talk too much about it. Uh, <laughs> is it like a, we got a fashion fit coming? Or like a little bit. Suit? No, it's, it's definitely not classic, oh, yeah. but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Any How many cool. different options did you have like, with deciding your outfit? A outfit? Mm -hmm. You know, there was a lot of thinking, a lot of process yeah. behind it. So I think it's going to be exciting to show, to show that. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. First day is going to be fun. And have you got any... Uh, interesting lining on the inside of your, yeah, on your exactly. <laughs> I actually have some like artwork so not my artwork like no. an artist um, but uh, yeah yeah nothing yeah nothing crazy crazy <laughs> do, you, do you have artwork that's not <laughs> pardon like me personally yeah yeah uh, snap I, I took an art class <laughs> in, in Germany uh, a few good art like okay. pieces but nothing crazy I'm not I wouldn't say I'm the the best artist to have there, so. did, did you grow up a, a soccer fan? I did. And I still am. <laughs> Arsenal, that's my club. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you play I as, did. A, as a child? Or? I was a goalkeeper until like twelve, so pretty late. And then I had to really like decide because it was conflicting like the schedules, so I had to pick. 
To what degree did the footwork required in that sport translate into this sport? I think quite a lot. Um, you know, footwork is really important in football, so just being light on your feet, all of that thing really helps. And like me as a as a player and on the basketball court, I feel like my footwork for my size is pretty good. So I think definitely being versatile and playing different sports in England uh, really helped me with that. That's it. Well, we're